Our live team coverage continues now. Paul Kiska is in Chardon, where hundreds of students made a nearly mile-long walk to the school one day before classes resume. Paul, the students and some of their parents were cheered on by teachers as they walked into the classroom. Tell us about that. Well, Leon, this was a huge show of unity and support and love here in the village of Chardon today. Uh, teachers, parents, uh, uh, students uh, side by side, arm in arm. They started gathering over at the, uh, the village square, the gazebo, the bandstand at 9 o'clock this morning. And uh, what a powerful scene it was. Students and parents then walking side by side, arm in arm after a brief, a brief prayer. And then they walked down North Street to uh, Chardon High School and the other Chardon schools in the area. Uh, a lot of people wearing red and black, the colors of Chardon High School on this cold, windy day. It was uh, an emotional scene as students finished their unity walk at the front doors of Chardon High School. Then it was just a flood of emotions and hugs and smiles and tears as parents and students then walked through the front doors of Chardon High School. I am proud to be a member of the Chardon community. If someone asks me where are you from and I say Chardon and they look at me and with maybe fear in their eyes, it doesn't matter. I am this community and I am proud of it. As I watch my friends walking their kids to school to, to not choke up and get tears. It was emotional but it was also really healing because um, we all joined together and we all held hands and people clapped us in and it made us feel safe again. And that is uh, Chardon High School student uh, Brittany Wilson, who told me that it's been many years since she walked to school holding her dad's hand. She said she did that today, and she didn't want to let go. Now, coming up at 4 o'clock today, we just found out that the uh, local authorities, the Chardon Police Department, Chardon County Sheriff's Department, and the Chardon Board of uh, Education, the superintendent, they're going to have a news conference right here at 4 o'clock to update any of the latest information uh, after what's been a, a busy and stressful week. They also want to uh, let everybody know what to expect as the students head back to school tomorrow for the first time uh, by themselves without their parents walking them through the doors and are reunited with their teachers and, and try and get back to work. Of course, grief counselors will continue to be here for them. Live from Chardon, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. Leon, back to you. Thank you, Paul, and we will look for your reports later on on our broadcast throughout the day and on Newsnet5.com. Paul Kiska in Chardon.